What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? It's all about burns, right? Well, we've got a burn portal, and we're going to use that going forward as something for this channel. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. And let me take you through a few of the steps. Now, before we get started, uh, make sure if you haven't already, consider signing up to Weeks. Weeks is a platform. It's a centralized exchange. They now have a burn initiative, the same as Binance. This will allow us to burn even more tokens than we were burning before. Remember, MEXE and all these other places that hold Luna Classic, they no longer do burn. So if you're currently trading, and I know some of you are because you're signed up under me with MEXE and you're trading Luna Classic every day, if you bring it over to Weeks, they will use the funds and the fees that they charge for your trading, and they will use that as part of the burn initiative just like Binance does. So make sure that you go tune in and check them out today. Link, the link is in the description down below. Get started today if you're interested in it. So let's talk about news and what's going on because it's fascinating what's going on with Duquan. Can't stop. It, it's, it's crazy. And I think it's going to be great for Luna Classic prices, by the way. Let's check it out. So as you can see right here, there is a massive fight that's breaking out in Montenegro. And let me tell you that there is one specific person in the Montenegro government who is insisting, and that's like their attorney general, who is insisting that Duquan be extradited to the United States. But the Montenegro courts have rejected that over and over again. South Korea stepped in uh, to start an extradition process, and those, those same high courts approved it. He's a South Korean citizen. In fact, they wanted him to go there because the maximum prison sentence is 30 to 40 years versus the United States, who will charge you for each individual quote-unquote crime. So that's the way that they're phrasing the narrative behind this. But uh, what's really happening here is he's being sent home. He's being sent home to his home country to be prosecuted by the people where the crimes were committed and everything like that, right? Well, this has been rejected by what they call the high minister of Montenegro. He's losing his mind right now, and he's talking about how this is just unbelievable that they would be doing this. He wants him uh, extradited to the United States. Why do you think that is? Why do you think the United States is involved in this process? Because, you know, barely anybody could trade Luna Classic in the United States. There was only a few places, you know, uh, Coinbase, of course. But, uh, you know, uh, the, the crime took place in South Korea. I wonder what Gary Gensler has on Montenegro. Anyway, I digress. So that happened. And then for price action, no real coverage or anything like that, uh, but the number of holders has hit a record high. We're now at 5.5 million Luna Classic holders, which is an, an incredible number. It's 5.5 million of us holding Terra Luna Classic right now. So uh, let's share this so that other people get involved. That's how we find new people, sharing content. Uh, Oracle reward pool replenish structure. We're still talking about all of these uh, different things. There's nothing brand new that's come out here. Uh, let's move over to Station. Station is somebody, random person, trying to repeal the KYC prop because it's uh, concerned community members want to repeal the Know Your Customer proposition because it stifles the growth of Terra Luna Classic. Not in any way does it do that. In no way does KYC yourself as a business organization within a blockchain uh, stifle the growth of your blockchain. In this situation, there's no truth to that. This is just a different way for these people. And I've told you, these are bad actors. Uh, it's a different way for these bad actors uh, to continue just showing you their stripes and that they are bad actors because this is what they're doing. And they're telling you it's going to stifle creation. And here's the thing. I told you guys, and you saw the announcement on X, I'm going to be covering some of these projects over the next couple of days, weeks, maybe even months, as we look into what's really going on in the Luna Classic ecosystem. And guess what? Nobody's leaving. Nobody, nobody's leaving. This is a facade by these bad actors who want to stifle innovation on this blockchain. What they want to do is they want to convince you that something bad's happening so that they can, get, again, go back to their control. Remember, Jesus is Lord, multiple validators. Some of these validators, you don't even know who they are. They could walk off in a day's notice. And you can't do anything about it to stop them because you don't know who they are. Nobody knows who they are. And by the way, when I say that, I, I make it sound like you're never going to know who they are. It's the KYC company that would be doing that. So just in case something were to happen, then they can be uh, brought to charge in, in case they do something untoward or unfair in some way. So, um, yeah, <laughs> let's move on. All right, guys, for price action, nothing has fundamentally changed here. We got the bounce off of this range uh, down here at the bottom of the chart. 
And then we expect this movement coming up here, uh, testing this high. Now, what does it look like? I mean, it's not going to be a straight line, most probably. Uh, it's going to be just like this was, you know, kind of bing bong around here, get a nice little breakout uh, and then come back down for some retest structure. Structure is going to be the structure, but uh, that I think is what is ready to happen next. We have support. We have 5.5 million holders. We are um, uh, legion at this point. So uh, I think we're going to get that big bounce at some point very, very soon. Uh, and it'll probably play out something like what I've got laid out right here. USTC, um, not as confident that it's going to play out. When the move happens, by the way, uh, if this is the actual structural bounce, then that reversal is not going to be as spectacular, only up to about four cents. Uh, it may not be, though. You know, we might see this thing come back down here, test down here at 24, and then take a longer path and only come up to that 3.6, 3.8 that we were at not too long ago. Now, that leads us to, will there be a breakout on the price? And the question uh, for that is coming pretty soon. This is a day chart, so there's a couple days here. Uh, remember, it's going to take about 30 days maybe for this court case to resolve. That's enough time for all of this to happen. Let's get into the having and see what happens with the broader market. So there's some real fantastic stuff that could be happening there. Also, price, um, you know, the market cap, kind of where it is, 8% up on trading volume over the day, but very low trade volume. Same thing over here for USTC, up 16% on the day. And, uh, you know, again, down about 1% in overall market cap. Now, final piece I wanted to show you was, uh, we got a burn tracker, burn tracker mechanism right now. And we're gonna start paying attention to that every day. Uh, new studio design here, by the way, uh, coming very soon. So uh, working my way through this whole process, but let's check that out. All right, guys, this is uh, a burn tracker. We're just gonna keep track of this every single day. So far we've burned 104.71 billion tokens. Uh, we've burned 618 million in the last seven days. And we have a circulating supply of 5.83 trillion. So you can look at the top 100 uh, burners right here. And of course, you can see Binance. Uh, you can see the Lunatics token. You can see uh, DF Lunk protocol here. Uh, you can see uh, MEXC, Lunk Dow, Cremation. Like you can see all of these different burns that have happened on every single one of those. So at the end of this month, we're going to get weeks in here. When we get weeks in here, then, you know, maybe we start here at the bottom. Maybe, we, you know, maybe we start... Uh, at, at some spot, but you're going to be able to see how well Weeks does all of its burning. And, you know, we'll get an idea. They've already had, I think, 15,000 people sign up. So I want to say something like that, or 15,000 trades have happened so far. So cryptonomy.finance just launched a research section. So make sure that you go check that out today. Learn a little bit more about crypto that you may not have known before. If you are a corporate client, you can have a relationship manager uh, and a lot of customer support, superior OTC services, and institutional tools that will help you in your venture. Also, if you sign up for the VIP course, you can get in touch with high-touch wealth management personnel and a lot of different people and personalized information as you need in order to successfully navigate this crypto. Also, if you look at my moves right now, you can see that I'm earning over 106 Solana on my last staking. My Tether, I'm going to earn 1,670 on my staking so far. Uh, you can see there's some of these have, I've earned $784. I can't cash out for a while, but uh, I've earned 784 so far. And then in the launch pool, guys, if you haven't checked the launch pool out, you've got to check the launch pool. Look at these ROIs that I'm getting right now. It's fantastic. Uh, 20 X on K9 Finance, 7X on Weave, on Block Jerk. Uh, if you get if you put a stake into this system right here, it gives you a fantastic amount of rewards. Go check this out today. That's a fantastic amount of activity, and it looks like there's a lot of life out here in this chain. So, um, you know, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, we're going to work on burns. We're going to work on all these different things. Again, if you haven't already, make sure that you sign up at Weeks and start trading on Weeks. Here's the thing. At the end of this, if Weeks doesn't work out too well, you stop trading on it. It's, it's fine. Move everything back over to MEXE. There's a nominal fee to it, I'm sure. Uh, but, you know, you can do whatever it is that you want. They're your tokens. So move them from... Uh, you can move yours from MEXE over to uh, Weeks if you want to, and you can start trading your Weeks tokens over there, uh, your tokens on Weeks as well. So, you know, move your supply if you want to. Whatever whatever it is that you want to do, uh, you're in charge, you're in control, uh, you're buying your own crypto, but it certainly helps out the ecosystem to know because MEXE doesn't do the burns anymore. But it would certainly be, be nice to see 
uh, those those burns continue with somebody and that somebody is going to be weeks. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right. You guys have a good day.